chicken pie puppets. What can we do for you? Come along and join us. We are waiting for you. Oh, well, my name is Ophelia, but all my best chums call me Fifi. <laughs> um, well, I went to uh, Cheltenham Ladies College, uh, which is great fun. Um, and then I went off to, Daddy sent me off to America, uh, where I went to school for like one month. But oh my God, I absolutely hated it. American girls are absolutely just so bitchy, like, uh, I just hated it. So, yeah, I went home, um, got an internship at, like, uh, was it Prada or, like, Gucci or somewhere like that, yeah. Um, but, yeah, everyone was, like, really fat, and I felt really out of place, and I definitely, definitely thought I was, like, above everyone, so, yeah, I just quit that. <laughs> but, yeah, that was, like, five years ago, and I'm just trying to, like, you know... Just find who I am really and my place in the world. So yeah, just living off daddy at the moment. <laughs> um, well my friends are like the whole cast of Maiden in Chelsea. <laughs> and then like um Kate Middleton. We met at summer school when we were like six, um, and we were like BFF -E since. But then since she's quite often got married and become like a princess, like she has absolutely no time for any of us anymore. And like, yeah, now she's had a baby. Like, she just doesn't come out ever. She's like, I don't have any time for it. I'm so busy. I like, I don't understand that. I swear babies can see like five. Like, what the hell, Kate? Oh. Um, are we talking like quiet night? Yeah, like not parties, yeah? Yeah, okay, um, well, quiet nights, well, they don't happen very often, but probably, you know, have, like, a soiree with the girls, maybe a few of the guys, um, wouldn't have it in my house, though, because I wouldn't want to squeeze everyone into, like, the guest bedrooms, um, probably go off to, like, the Ritz, or, like, the Savoy, um, yeah, everyone would have, like, their own room, we'd go down to the spa, maybe use the gym for a bit, then get some room service, you know, we'll sit around in our, like, nice, you know, nice outfits and, like, you know, just talk about life, get some room service, you know, just life. <laughs> um, well, I find that quite hard because, like, you can't just choose anyone because you don't know any of their, like, backgrounds and you wouldn't want to end up with, like, some riffraff even though they're really hot. But putting that aside just going on like hotness um it'd probably go with uh spenny matthews obviously number one um uh prince harry what a cheeky chap um and then oh don't judge me but um <laughs> probably Barack Obama. <laughs> um, the top five most important things in my handbag would probably have to be uh, my iPhone case, which is worth more than the iPhone. It's like personally designed by Don Telefasachi. Um, uh, my, uh, my purse. Like, it's got daddy's card in it. I wouldn't be able to do anything without it. Um, my makeup bag, because I've got so much makeup in there. Makeup is so important. Any girl, any, let, let me just say this now. Any girl who says makeup is, like, not, like, people who don't wear it are, like, naturally pretty. I mean, that's bullshit. Everyone needs makeup. And even if you are pretty, put some makeup on and look even prettier. I mean, that's what it's there for, girls. Come on. And then... Probably, um, probably, oh, the bag itself, it's worth more than, like, most people's homes. <laughs> um, oh, and my new car keys. <laughs> it's got a brand new pink, bright pink Jaguar. 
um, one of those things called that you put on the wheels, you know, um, uh, oh, the alloys. <laughs> Mine are like diamond encrusted. <laughs> Cute. Um, private. So yeah, that's for me to know. Sorry. <laughs>